Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami. Good morning, Reefers, I'm Daniel, this is Coralust, and you are looking at our awesome little bubbler sand waterfall. This thing is absolutely incredible for those of you who want a little tank with minimal maintenance on your desk. Um, this is one of the perfect tanks for you. Uh, we're gonna throw a bait in here tomorrow. We just set this thing up and it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Can't wait to see this guy too. This is another one of those sand waterfalls and it has a lion and it spits the sand out of his mouth. So that's pretty cool. Something very simple and you can set it up in a matter of seconds. All you need is a bubbler. So, and I had to show you guys this really awesome thing that I made. Um, it's just for charging your cell phones. So if you guys come over here and you're hanging out and your phone battery's getting a little low, we will have plugs and cords for you guys. Apple, um, Android, whatever you have, we'll make sure you have plenty of power. So this is a really cool table that we built and I'm super excited for it. It's part of the hangout area. You guys can come and chill when you're just looking at some corals or whatever. Um, our update on these tanks is pretty awesome. We're just waiting on deliveries. So as soon as we get our shipment in, you guys are gonna see us start to put together the most amazing aquascape ever for this peninsula. We are using Marco Rocks just to give you guys a heads up. Uh, they're pretty awesome and the way they're cut, there's some superb choice pieces there that I can't wait to show you guys uh, when we design this. So, yeah. When it comes to fluid dynamics and feng shui of reef systems, I consider myself an expert. So, working on a peninsula tank and trying to optimize water flow is a slight challenge when you only have one point um, of entry basically for cords. Because I don't want any flow, I don't want any. Um, cords on this side even though I do want flow but it is going to be a challenge but just so you guys know a heads up I am thinking about two mp40s and a possible gyra on top and using the ecotech's new pump with the wave control as the return to kind of give you guys like this pulsing flow for the return so we'll see how that works I've never used one of those or uh, used like the reef flow with the return pump so that'll be pretty interesting um, as well so let's move in the back I will show you guys what we're working on uh, we did set up some corals and we are working on a lot um, for you guys with fish tanks and all that stuff so oh, all my lights went off unfortunately I haven't changed the timing on the lights and I haven't programmed these yet so the lights did just go off but we have some in pretty cool corals for you guys that we acclimated the store will be opening up Hopefully, you know, within the next few days, we just had a lot of odds and ends and things to knock out and get done for you guys. So, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Um, today, I don't know, it's a slow day. I spent most of the day on the phone, so I really didn't get done as many things as I wanted to, but it's great to know things are coming. So, it's in the progress, it's in the process of, you know, getting here, but seeing these tanks um, with the lights on and filled with water is going to be a landmark achievement uh, point for me. So you guys will see me jumping for joy. Um, but it's funny, I can actually already see this tank in my mind, what I think I'm going to do with those rocks. So if you guys have a second, check out um, Marco Rock's website. It's really cool. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff on there. And, you know, compared to some of the other rocks, I won't use live rocks anymore in my tank. I just find that there's too many pests, too many issues with that, and it's hard to quarantine live rock properly. So, starting with dry rock is one of the best things I think you can do. But, all right, guys, that's my update for now. Um, I wanted to show you honestly one more thing, but I just figured I'll start that tomorrow. I want to do an unboxing kind of test on one of these water kits here, one of the Hanna Instruments checkers and a salinity tester. So these things are a little pricey compared to your normal refractometer, but I think that they would provide extremely useful for your average person. 
You know, you just put it in and boom, dip it in the water and you're good to go. So, so yeah, so I'll do an unboxing and check that out tomorrow. This one of these very important, especially with tanks like this, when you have a high evaporation rate, you're selling corals, you're shipping water, um, you're changing your salinity because the auto top off wants to kick on and fill back water, but you don't know how much water is salt water that you removed and that can be an issue sometimes with the smaller systems. So, so that's that. But yeah, checking salinity is important. Uh, always good. Because if you lower your salinity, by default, you're lowering your calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity. Um, so by having a little higher salinity, you're increasing a lot of those trace elements and different things. So it's kind of cool. But it's something to think about depending on your corals and their needs and requirements. So check out these bad boy sumps. Those of you who haven't seen the last video when we were unboxing these bashies and we got the delivery and pulling off the plastic. But these things are absolutely incredible and I am beyond excited to get these up and running um, as soon as possible. So the color combinations are extremely unique and compared to your average sumps, these things stand out. So those of you who take pride in your tank and you really just want to show off, um, you deserve a sump like this. So. So I am super looking forward to this, guys. But, all right, that's just my quick update. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please leave your questions or comments below. I do appreciate the feedback. If you guys see something that we're missing in the store, um, let us know. You know? always We always take su good suggestions into consideration. So, keyword, good suggestions, but... <laughs> Later. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.